So my name is Albert Parladay. I'm the section head of abdominal imaging at uh, Cleveland Clinic, Florida. Um, and like we said, we're going to talk about the radiologic assessment of severe acute pancreatitis. This is the... What I'm going to talk about is first a uh, CT scan for acute pancreatitis. This is the mainstay uh, for imaging uh, for acute pancreatitis, so we're going to talk about that first. We're also going to discuss MRI for acute pancreatitis. Um, we're going to discuss the classification and appearance of various pancreatic collections, and I'm going to show you some images of those. Uh, we're also going to discuss other complications of acute pancreatitis and their imaging appearance. And then last, we'll touch about on um, percutaneous drainage of pancreatic collections. So first I want to start off with the revised Atlanta classification for acute pancreatitis. Um, I think the most important thing when imaging pancreatitis and when discussing pancreatitis is that everyone's on the same page with the nomenclature, the terminology, so that we can, we can all communicate appropriately and the appropriate management can be made for these patients. Um, in 2012, a consensus a group of gastroenterologists, pathologists, radiologists, and surgeons updated the Atlanta classification and uh, came up with new standard, clear, clinically relevant terms um, to define uh, pancreatitis, necrotizing pancreatitis, and the various collections. And everything I discuss in this presentation and everything I use in practice is from the revised Atlanta classification. So we'll start with a patient. Um, this is a 73-year-old man. He came in with, to the emergency room with abdominal pain, elevated lipase of 3,000, and an ultrasound showing cholelithiasis. In the emergency room, as is normal, he had a CT scan for his abdominal pain, and it showed CT findings of interstitial edematous pancreatitis. Um, this patient was hospitalized, discharged, and then returned on day 31 with increased abdominal pain, nausea, constipation, and leukocytosis. So on day 31, he had another CT scan and also an MRI. Um, and uh, I'm going to pose these questions, but then answer them later on. Uh, it's just something to think about. Is this necrotizing pancreatitis? Remember, he presented with a CT scan showing interstitial edematous pancreatitis. And what is the appropriate name for this pancreatic collection? Is this a pancreatic abscess? Is this Waldorf necrosis? Is this an acute necrotic collection? Or is this acute pancreatic fluid collection? So we'll see the answer later. So we'll start off when to image acute pancreatitis. As we saw in this patient, um, he came into the emergency room with severe abdominal pain and he got a 